Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Micrographics' YouTube channel, MGFX. So today what I'm going to take a look at is the new presentation environment that we have. Um, as you probably know that uh, Autodesk has discontinued Inventor Publisher, which uh, hopefully they'll, they'll take a lot of what was in there and bring it into the presentation environment. As this hasn't changed much over the last couple of years. So I'm going to go create a uh, .ipn, still got the same um, file format over there and go search for my assembly that I'm going to grab and bring in. Okay, so I've just created a little wobbler engine over here. And immediately what you'll see is that the environment has changed a little bit. This was done in 2017. I'm doing it in 2018. And um, just to sh give you a little tour around the place, in case you've got the familiar uh, ribbon at the top with all the commands that you can use, you've still got your history browse on the left-hand side over here. Um, and then on the bottom here, we've got the new... Um, timeline uh, which which if you have done a lot of video recording or video editing um you would be quite familiar with so the first thing i'm going to take a look at is just the normal tweak command which we all know and love um so that is up over here and when i do bring it up it brings up my little mini toolbar um and it allows me to go and either grab a component or a part um and then just use either local or world ucs um and then Locate that thing over there. Okay, so locate a position where I can go and move um, a component. So once I've done that, so I'm going to go grab my component and then let's go start tweaking. So grab it, drag it down. Once over here, I can say maybe minus 30. Okay, and then I want to move it as well. And you can see that the little uh, little trailer uh, is moving along with it, the little trail marks. Okay, so let's make that minus 90. Um, and hit enter. Okay, so there's the first tweak component that we've created over there. And in the timeline at the bottom over there, you'll see that it'll give the name of the component that it's tweaked, um, plus two little bars in the, um, in the timeline, which has told us that it's actually done two movements. The first one, and then the second one. And you'll see it actually highlighting uh, the trail in your um, in your browser, in your in the window over here. Okay, so um, say you want to tweak the second one, but you want to look at it from a different angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my view cube over here, and then what I will do is I'm going to capture camera. So this is a nice way to, to get a, kind of get a, an animation going with your presentation as well. So select capture camera, and you'll notice over there that it's put a camera in over here. So if I had to take my timeline and move it back, you'll see there how it moves First, it tweaks, and then it also tweaks and moves the camera as well. So I'm able to then go and um, manipulate both my view and the the, 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 the position of the um, of the components as well to get a better look at what I'm tweaking. So let's go tweak again, select your component, and let's just drag this flywheel out over there. Okay, say minus 80, press enter, and there we go. So we've just got two little tweaks over there. Maybe we want to go on to a third one. So I'm going to um, go on to this position over here. And I'm going to tweak these two steam line fittings. So select both by holding down control and then dragging that out over there. So I've done enough tweaks that I want. And you can see that I can also change my duration as well. Select my little tick and there we go. Now what we want to do is I'm going to go capture camera again because I want to have a full revolution. So let's see what our little animation looks like. Let's press play. See, sorry. And you see I get my nice views of each of the different positions. Okay, so what you can also do with this if you do want to edit it, if you select it and right click, you can go edit time, um, also select all before, all after, so um, if I select that, everything over there, and then I can so right click and go delete it if I want to, or edit the time of that as well. So if I'm going to go click on my camera, I can right click edit time, and in my edit time I can say when it starts, when it ends, and the duration as well. Okay, so if you wanted to maybe start it at six seconds, okay, and then end at 10 as well, you'll see there that it gets a little bit bigger on the timeline over there. So the duration of the, the view as it moves is going to be a little bit slower than, than previously as it's got a longer time to move from the one position to the other. 